Newsreel, real news, real quick. Orleans Parish Judge Robin Jeruso temporarily blocked Louisiana from enforcing the trigger law banning abortion that is set to take effect after the U.S. Supreme Court overruled the Roe v. Wade abortion decision. Meanwhile, Wisconsin's Democratic Governor Tony Evers said over the weekend that he would give clemency to doctors who perform abortions after Wisconsin's abortion prohibition resumed in force. Russian President Vladimir Putin will attend the G20 summit in Indonesia this November, the Kremlin announced on Monday. Indonesian President Joko Widodo, who is hosting this year's gathering, has invited Putin to attend the meeting in Bali. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell called the precedent granting federal abortion rights in Roe v. Wade outdated in a Monday speech. He compared the Dobbs abortion decision last Friday to the Supreme Court overturning the racist separate but equal precedent in the 1954 decision of Brown v. the Board of Education of Topeka. In a letter to House Democrats, Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Monday outlined several legislative proposals as responses to the as responses to the Supreme Court's decision on Friday. One proposal would codify the 1973 Roe decision into law. During a speech to G7 leaders on Monday, Ukrainian President Pre Vladimir Zelensky insisted that the conflict between Russia and Ukraine must end before winter. He said that Ukrainian troops would have a much harder time fighting against Russian forces once the harsh winter conditions take hold. Iran and the United States will restart their stalled nuclear talks in Qatar in an attempt to restore the 2015 nuclear accord with U.S. Special Envoy for Iran, Robert Malloy, and Tehran's chief negotiator, Ali Baghdari Khani, both headed to Doha. Iran wants the economic benefits of the 2015 deal and claims its nuclear program is entirely peaceful, although it won't allow Western inspections of its nuclear facilities. The Supreme Court ruled Monday that high school football coach Joe Kennedy enjoyed protection from the First Amendment to the Constitution when he sought to kneel and pray on the field at the end of football games. The high school had fired him, claiming that he was coercing players to pray with him. The court ruled 6-3 to three for the coach. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.